Hello everyone and welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. So, we are broken free out of the checkpoints that we were in. We are now kind of like in the wild, if you like. There's no more protection from the government in this zone. So that we are expecting to, you know, bump into quite a few infected. So we're in the city now, that's just being destroyed. We got our um, evacuation leaflet there, just saying how dangerous the zone is. Warning. Right for next there's tree we can pick up. Here we go. We got a bot. Uh, got a bottle. Yes, you hear that? Yeah. Found it pretty far away though. Are we safe? For now. Come on. So there's the sound of an infected in the back in the background right there. So it's it's not safe, I wouldn't say. <laughs> Ellie's never been outside the walls before, the protected walls, so I'm not too sure. And there's the Capitol building. Yeah. We need to get around this mess. This is the downtown area? It was. Now it's a giant wasteland. So that's the building we're heading to to meet the fireflies to drop off Ellie so they can find the vaccine, hopefully. So we're gonna um, take this route here to the side because it's it's blocked off down there. The, the road's falling apart. Over here. There's plenty of spotlights in the background over there. Just gonna check on this side before we carry on. You find anything over there? No. Keep looking. We got Brick there in a bottle. We've got a brick equipped already. You just stay close to her for now. Roger, Roger. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so we're gonna head up here into this building, kind of make our way through the building to get past the um, the roadblocks. Turn our flashlight on. Scavenge what we can in this room. There's a drawer we can open there. It's empty, of course. Okay, we can check out this open door. Oh. Body's pretty fresh. Is that bad? Yeah, it might be. Let's not stick around. So you got any ammo on him? We can't pick any ammo up there. There's a clip on the ground, but it's not accessible. There's another clip there. Still not accessible. There's a field ops log there. So they arrived here on the at ten past six. So these guys died waiting for backup. Okay, there's definitely going to be some. There we go. There's a clicker stuck to the wall. There looks like it's dead though. God damn it, clicker! Have to pull it off the door. What's wrong with its face? Yeah. Years of infection will do you. So what, are they blind? Sort of. They see using sound. Like bats? Like bats. You want to you better hide. That's how they spot you. The building feels like it's about to fall apart. So we picked up some pills right there. Th they're used to upgrade your attributes, such as like your aiming um, and stuff like that. So these are the skills you can upgrade: your maximum health, your crafting speed, healing speed. So that's the time it takes you to bandage your, you know, injuries up. Weapon sway, that's accuracy, and also you can shiver clicker if you get grabbed by one. If you if you buy that skill point. Probably gonna go for maximum health on this playthrough because it is, you know, in a high difficulty. Got some tape there we can make stuff with. 
Zeit für das da. Oh, we got a clicker on us. You all right? It's nothing. Let's search for supplies. The game thinks I should craft something. Oh, that was intense. But I've got a shiver already. I don't need to craft one just yet. There we go, what's this? She's just give me a med pack there. So I've got one already. Or maybe she gave she gave me the materials to craft the health pack. So we may as well craft that. Because we're always gonna need health packs, I think. I'm not gonna use it just yet though, because um I'm not too sure how much health I've got. You have these doors as well, and you can actually use a shiv to break them open. But it also costs the shiv, it breaks the shiv. But they're worth checking out if you've got spare shivs, because they have a lot of um, loot in them. So we've got weapon parts in here we can pick up. And what's in the, There's a bottle on the shelf. If this was on a higher, um, lower difficulty, there'd be a hell of a lot more stuff on these shelves. But because it is such a high difficulty, it's barely anything in here. We've got some pills and... we got something off that shelf, I can't remember what it was now. So Tess and Ellie have moved ahead. For this guy. Just see if there's a way through. It's clear. Come on, Ellie. All right, kid, you're up. Come on. You got it. So with these clickers, they don't see you directly. Um, if you stand in front of them, they can't see you. But if you make too much noise, they're kind of like Daredevil, <laughs> the superhero. They see you with sound, and like bats. So you've got to be very slow and um, try not to make as much noise as possible with um, our footsteps. So the slower you move, the less noise you make, of course. That's why I'm creeping around so slowly. And I'm just going to make our way up there where that yellow banner is. So it looks like we can still actually just let him patrol that way and we're going to jump up. I'm not going to inspect those rooms right there because there's obviously a clicker in the way and I don't fancy my chances. I think that's it. Ellie, you okay? Other than shitting my pants, I'm fine. Let's go. You can't distract clickers by throwing um, bottles and bricks, but I didn't have to in that case. There you go, ladies. All right. Come on. The stairwell's blocked. Ah, oh, this is crazy. Just don't look down. Are you serious? Oh god, this doesn't look safe. When was this last serviced? 20 years ago? On, no time for sightseeing, Ellie. Get off this thing. Okay. 
We got a way through. Turn the flashlight back on. I'm not sure as well if um, not you know other infect infected can see your flashlight. I know if, um, clickers can't, but I'm not sure about the ones that have eyes if they can see it. I might I might test that out. I'm not sure. Right, so we got a second gun here. So if we find ammo for a revolver, we've got two weapons to switch between. Right, that tells you how to switch weapons. So we've got four bullets in our normal pistol and then three bullets in our revolver. Keep the one with the most bullets equipped at all times. I need to do a little swap here to kind of progress the game. Just to prove that I can do it. I'm going to keep a hold of this one though for now. Okay, so we've got a load of infected down below. We're going to go ahead on our own here and um, clear the way while Tess and Ellie sit back until it's safe. We're going to creep on over to him, take him out. That's fine. We're going to head on back around this way. Because it was clear this side. This is where we came down from up there. And I'm going to stop behind this. Oh god, there's a clicker. There's a stalker right there. An infected. I'm sure there's a guy that comes through this doorway to the left. Keep an eye out on it. There he is. So he's looking that way now. We can creep up behind him. Choke him out. Now while that one's walking away, we, sh we should be okay for the moment. And now I'm going to creep on round, back around this way. Let's put my flashlight on for a second so I know where I'm heading. I can see where I'm going. And that guy that we are just seeing with the helmet on, he patrols around this area. So he's just gone through those doors. He should go left around the outside of that wall. Come back in through those doors. And as, he walk as he's making his way back through that door again, we'll creep up behind him. And choke him out, because that one, that's actually standing still by the wall. He's a clicker, so he's blind. So he shouldn't see us, and or hear us, if we, if we get, don't get too close. So let's keep an eye out for this guy now, coming around this corner in the SWAT helmet. Here he is. So when he turns around, we're going to grab him. Choke him out. That clicker there has still not seen us, so we're safe for the moment. And now there's one more infected other than this clicker in the next room. We're going to leave the clicker to the last because um, they're the most dangerous. So we've got that guy over there. He's going a bit crazy. We're going to sneak on around to this, this doorway. See where he goes. I think he stays in that room. Patrols around in that room. He goes turned around. So it's hopefully, hope he doesn't turn around again. Choke him out. And now what we've got left, left is the clicker. There's a, there's a few ways to take out a clicker. There's obviously a weapon you can use. Like this um, block of wood. It's 2x4. Or you can use a brick. And I think the brick's the best option if there's other bricks available to pick up in the area. Because the 2x4 is good in like emergency situations. And the bricks are also, you can just smash his face in with a brick if you um, get close enough. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to creep up right in front of his face and then smash his face in with this brick. There we go. So he's dead now. All right, come on down. The area is now clear. I'm going to try and find another brick before we carry on. There's one there. Let's quickly check in this corner before we carry on. I'm not expecting to find anything. Nope. So we're gonna jump up here now. This is the next. This is the way through the building. Just turn my flashlight on really, so I can see where I'm going. We got another dead body up here. There's some ammo. So we should have four bullets in each gun now. Yeah, that's right. Let's move this out of the way of the door. So we can get through. Let's 
I need Tess now to open the door. Tess, go. All right, hold on. Why am I holding on to this still? I think she's put that there to block the way so no clickers come behind us. Okay, she found something in there. Have you got something for me? There you go. She's just given me um, some alcohol which can be used to craft iron um, molotov cocktails later on in the game and also health packs. You can bind it with cloth. It's a bit of a drop down there. Yeah, let's get to it. So we've got two ways to go. We're not going to go that way because it's a massive drop. Let's go down the, the safe way. We get through here. Watch your back. Keep on going down this way. We can hear clickers. Or should I say infected. Can't guarantee that they're going to be clickers. Sometimes the clickers are actually a better... Infected to face because they're easier to creep past, but once if you do startle them, they're also harder to take out. You can take it easy for a little while. You want to take it easy? Hey, you're the one always going on about running away. And you always brush me off. Is that the right way? I won't this time. I believe it when I see it. Just wanted to quickly check if there's anything on that corner. All right, we're gonna carry on this way. Am I going the right way? Are we jumping up there? Okay, we're going underneath this um, this bowl, this block here. What's that on the floor? Some kind of flashlight. Through here. It's like a maze. This place. Oh, actually, there's some tape on the floor there. Let's use to craft them um, shivs for the moment. We learn other things to craft later on the game. Oh, what have we got over here? There's some pills by this phone box. Look at his sleeve, Firefly. Yep. These guys aren't doing well in or out of the city. Let's hope there's someone. So we just found our first Molotov cocktail there. Once you find an item as well, like Molotovs, and later on we'll find um, kind of like um, homemade explosives. Um, once you find them, that's when you're able to craft them. Don't light it just yet, Joel. Let's put that away. So there's a dead firefly here. These are the guys we're looking to meet to um, give Ellie to. Part of the, um, the same faction as Marlene. So we can head up these stairs, see what this guy's got on him. This is another firefly that's being killed. Kind of looks like they've been shot and not infected because they haven't turned. So, what's this we've got here? A firefly map. So let's read that. Meet up with the second firefly team at Capitol Building. So these are the guys that were going to the same destination that we're going to. And that's um, what they're looking for, the girl, which is Ellie. She's 5 foot 3, 14 years old, with red hair. So, um... Let's zoom in on this. This is kind of like a map of where the meat place is. Yes. So that's the dome we're heading towards. See? They're not our guys. Okay, so we're gonna make our way towards this um through the subway now. Over there, see him. Shit. God, we're almost out. Joel, you take point, I'll watch the rear. Ellie, no matter what, you stay right on his heels. Sure. You stay sharp. I got it. So we've got to make our way through a heavily infected clicker section here. So what's this it's telling us here? Clickers can still hear you when you are crouched. Push left stick lightly to move more quietly. If you are heard, stop and wait until it's safe to move. Of course, that's how stealth works. So we're going to end this part here, guys, and we're going to start the next part, making our way through this... Um, subway infect um, clicker infect infected subway so I'll see you all later in the next part see ya